Yo, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I gotta start with a question. What are you great at? And there's a reason why that question is so important, because you should be building content around your strengths if you want the best return. I know a lot of people who are saying it's so hard to build content, especially a high quality, because at this point, so many people understand that there's a strong benefit to having a high quantity of music or any content for that matter. So how do you do a lot, but then do it at scale? That comes from understanding your strengths. How do you do a lot at a high quality that actually makes impact? Because not that quality like, oh, it looks good and it's perfect high resolution and it's edited well. No, high quality in terms of impact. How do you do that at scale with at high quantities? This is how. So first, let's just use three examples. I'm gonna start with Casey Neistat. If you don't know who Casey Neistat is, look him up on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. But Casey Neistat is a vlogger, has probably like 10 million YouTube subscribers if I remember correctly. And his strength is just his editing, right? The way he shoots things and he carries cameras around all the time. And I know you could say, hey, there's a lot of vloggers who carry cameras around and go throughout their day, but Casey Neistat is known for this because he does it on an entirely different level, the way he just edits and brings things together. And he knows that and that's his thing, the way he tells stories, like legitimate feeling stories throughout his footage. Then you have somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk. Now, I know a lot of you know who Gary V is, but what is his strength if you think about it? Outside of his strengths for his business, you really gotta hone in on his intuitiveness and ability to improvise and respond quickly. That's what he does. He's like a quote master. He's dropping quotes again and again and again. He talks well. He doesn't have to repeat and do multiple takes. As a matter of fact, I remember him saying that he's a lot better at just freestyling than he is at actually doing takes where he has to read a script and say something off of memory. He'll do that. 50, 100 times before he finally gets it right. And he built his content around that strength. So if you wonder how Gary Vaynerchuk does such a high quality, step back and think about the fact that Gary V is actually doing nothing but living his life. He has somebody carrying a camera around, following him, right? He has people who edit his videos for Instagram. Yeah, he does his own copy and things like that. but. So much of his content is really just generated from him living his life and he's already going to these places where he's speaking on stage, he's going to meetings and he's just being himself. So he is able to do a high quantity because he's just leveraging his strength, which is I'm going to respond quickly. I get into these conversations and these instances. I'm the center of the brand and I'm very good at talking. I have a lot of charisma. That's what he capitalized off of. Think about the show Ask Gary V. That show is a very basic structure. People ask questions, he answers. Whoa, I just sounded like him. But really just step back and thinking about it. All he's doing is answering people's questions. What's his strength? Answering questions, having conversation, charisma, responding quickly with great contextual answers. That's what he does. So what does that look like for an artist? Because I know there are a lot of artists, obviously, that follow this channel. Here's a perfect example. Recently, I was speaking to an artist and producer who's pushing his artist brand. He's growing that brand, and I listened to his music, watched some clips of him on Instagram, and really honed in on the fact that, yo, bruh, you are great at songwriting. Out of all the things that you do, and you do quite a few things well, your songwriting really stands out. The reason I figured this out was he had some videos where he was sitting at the piano, playing some of the songs that he wrote. When we talk about making remarkable content, content that's gonna stand out, get rid of everything else and highlight the strength as much as possible and it's typically gonna be easier to actually do at a high clip rate anyway. So in the case of Mark C, it's easy for him to just sit down and do exactly what his strength is. Part of me wanna wife you Half of me just wanna slide through Part of me got a high IQ and the other half got element issues like look at you how I'm supposed to add it up It's like I can't get enough Might make me wanna fall in love It's a clean version It's when you hit me and I tell you that I'm working and you say it's all good That's what I love 
Let people just hear the songwriting. No music in the background, not a lot going on. Let people hone in on what this guy's writing abilities sound like. Now, what if your songwriting ability isn't super off the chain, but you have some great snippets like Meek Mill. Meek Mill is great. Everybody knows that the dude has some off the chain snippets so he can drop those snippets and he can draw people in. You could put out a lot of snippets to your songs that makes for a lot of great content. You can easily drop more snippets than you do songs. You might not even create entire songs. You might just do really dope snippets of incomplete songs. Because like Mark C with his songwriting, there's a lot of songs that he didn't record, but he could sit and sing at the piano and people hear them. And then even people hearing them could create the opportunity for having a song that takes off just off the lyrics alone and everybody starts going, yo man, can you make this a real song? Can you make this official song? So what are your strengths? Is it that I can rap fast? How do I make that interesting and hone in on that so I could do that again and again and again? It's not necessarily like about the lyrics in my case. Or maybe you have a beautiful voice and if you have a beautiful voice, you can sing covers. It's not necessarily about the lyrics of songs that you wrote yourself. There's so many different little nuances different things that you can figure out for whatever your talent is, but figure out what that strength is and highlight that. Because at the end of the day, what's going to make the impact is you doing your strength. So the best content will just be stripping away a lot of all that extra stuff and highlighting your strength. And that's going to be so much more repeatable at scale than having this high production or getting a whole bunch of music and a mixer engineer or producer, finding somebody to be your videographer or a graphic designer, all these types of things are things that cost, whether it's money or time, and they slow you down in terms of creating content. Figure out what your strengths are, focus on those strengths, and create content around it. Figure out how to creatively deliver that strength to the audience at scale. And that's it for today. So what is your strength? Answer that in the comment section below and maybe an idea on how you can highlight that strength throughout your content as opposed to doing the most every single time. Other than that, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.